What is up everybody, it's King Kuntha, and today I'm going to be bringing you another World of Warcraft gold farm. And in this farm, this is probably one of the times I can say, this is probably the most exciting farm that I'm, I'm ever going to cover. And I can say that with 100% wholeheartedness. Um, if any of you guys know what the Chromatic Sword is, you'll know that it is unobtainable. And that... As soon as Cataclysm came out, it was impossible to drop anymore. It does not come out, it always sells for gold cap on the auction house. It is never not once sold for gold cap on the auction house. So, now that this drops again, people are actually getting some of the drops. So there are tons of people farming this mob as well. But, it does sold for, or sell sorry for about 9 million-ish gold. 9,999,000 gold, to be exact. And this farm is so good <laughs> that there are literally 20 people hiding in this cave right now, and I'm going to teach you how to farm it. If we go ahead and take a look right here on the map, you can see where I crystal vein mine. Sorry, I, I don't know why the words got jumbled. I, I do not have dyslexia, though, I swear. So we are in Stragglethorn Vale, or the jungle, and uh, it's easiest to get from if your alliance is literally just a flight path and you have to walk, but we are going to be entering this mine right here. So if you see, we're just going to go ahead and walk, or well, fly through here. And once you get towards the end of the mine, there is a NPC, or sorry, not NPC, a boss that actually drops uh, the chromatic sword again. Um, and it's the same one that actually uh, dropped the chromatic sword before uh, all the spawns were ruined because, you know, Cataclysm came in. And so there are currently tons of people farming this right now, and I don't know why I cannot find the location to get there because I'm dumb. But you basically, you go sit on this little, little uh, kind of, I want to say like path kind of thing, and you stand there and you constantly <laughs> spam your AoE ability. And, uh, I mean, I honestly, if you're smart, you'd create a macro for this because you'd just be able to spam it. But this farm, if you are actually able to get the Chromatic Sword to drop, you, you will sell it for gold cap. You will 100% sell this for gold cap. And you will literally never have to watch any of my videos ever again. Like, ever. So if we just kind of follow this whole long, long, long path... Uh, we can see here everybody kind of AOEing right now. If we go ahead and look here. And that's currently <laughs> because they are all waiting for this mob to spawn to drop the chromatic sword. And as you can see, if you are the person to get it to drop, you will make tons of gold. So as we can see here, uh, it might take a bit. But I honestly do think this is 100% worth the farm. Let me tell you why. This is worth farming because if you do get this to drop, you literally won't have to farm gold again. And that's what I'm saying. And there are really no other gold farms that you can do right now that I know of that can kind of wield the same potential. And uh, as you can see, this guy actually right here has uh, the enchantment to make them look like the chromatic swords, but they are not. So he obviously, Fury Ward, or you're trying to get that. So, in the description below, I will create a macro. Now, in the macro, you obviously have to put any spell that you have uh, in, the, in the description below, any offensive spell. But with this macro, you will assign it to one of your keys, any key, that which I have done, and we will stand here, and essentially, what I'm going to show you we are going to do is this. And you are going to hope that one of those times you're going to hit the boss, and you're going to kill him, and you're going to get the loot. This is very hard, <laughs> and it's going to be a pain in the butt to actually get. It's going to be very hard, but you can do it, and it's very possible. And people have gotten it to drop, and if you're not doing this now, I honestly don't know what else you're doing other than maybe going through the scenarios right now. But that is literally the only thing I could think of for you to be here. Uh, otherwise, you know, and as you can see, everyone just the competition for us is crazy right now. So, obviously, if you are on a low pop server, 
you have an advantage. There's literally probably not going to be that many people here for you because they might actually not even know about it. If you're on a full pop server like I am, this happens. It's kind of a mess. So if you're on a low pop server, you actually have way better chances of getting this than I do, as you can see, which is probably recommended. I, I recommend farming this on a low pop server just for the fact that you are able to go ahead and pick it up and maybe sell it off. Then you can actually transfer the gold onto one of your other characters from there. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Spawn time's actually a little bit longer too, so it's going to take a bit. But if you do sit here and you do farm this, I am confident that it could work. Now, if you are one of the specs or classes or you know what, um, that have an instant cast AoE, you are in the clear. You shouldn't be, you know, having any troubles. Uh, I mean, in the macro below, I actually just set it to Moonfire, so really all you have to do is just set it to whatever instant cast you have. Or uh, if you're melee, obviously just stand right at the spawn location, and then you should be able to go ahead and knock him down, no problem. And uh, that's really all the tips I have for you right now. Um, other than that, it's just a giant competition with all these boosted monks here. Uh, this is really all you can do in an attempt to go ahead and get this item. It's definitely worth the farm though. And I guarantee you, even if like you did get the sword to drop, I bet you could sell your account for like $500 and get the, <laughs> the sword gone. You know what I mean? So this is, this is one of those items that's so rare that you guys are... You're, you're privileged to actually have a chance to farm this item in the in-game right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video and we're going to pick it up at a spot where I just tell you about the best way to go about farming the sword, what the price is, uh, easiest way to get rid of it, that kind of stuff, and yeah, that's it. So I'm going to cut the video now and then we'll see you at that part and then I guess the end of the video is there. So make sure you check out the links in the description below by the way, don't forget about those and we'll see you in the next one. Well, we'll see you at cut. Alright, bye. Alright, everybody, we're back after that cut. Alright, everybody, we're back after that cut. So right now, I'm just going to take you on to the auction house just to show you uh, how much this item is actually going for on my server. And, <laughs> guys, I i don't even know what to say. It was just, when these new patches come out, there's always these kind of things, but it, <laughs> it hasn't been something like this in a while, and I'm actually quite excited, so... We're just going to look up, we'll see if anyone actually got it here, come on now, oh wow, there's not even one on my auction house right now, so the chromatic sword always sells for gold cap, always, 100% of the time the chromatic sword sells for gold cap because it, after cataclysm, it is 100% unobtainable, nobody can actually get the chromatic sword anymore, so this is what I'm saying. If you stand here, you farm it all day, you keep doing it all day, you don't stop doing it all day, and you do get one of these to drop, you <laughs> you made so much gold and wow, like it's just I go like literally go buy Black Ops 3 at this point. I'm I am so excited the fact that this exists, you guys have no idea. Now the only problem with this before is that if old un unobtainable drops actually have come back in 8.0, that means everybody that was stacking up uh, transmog constantly that literally has it on the auction house right now probably just screwed themselves. And that is not a joke either. And that if you bulked up all transmog again, I guess it's another instance of transmog people getting screwed, but they make a ton of money, so we don't really know. So... Yeah, so keep your eye out for this farm and many other farms like that. I will be checking my comment section hourly for another one of these to come up, and I will make another video on it. As soon as I have another spot, a video is going up on this. I will stay up all night, I swear, because these need to be covered, especially now. Because if you, cut, if you actually get this to drop now, it's going to sell off right away since there's none in the auction house. So it is definitely something that you need to go farm now. <laughs> there's few times I will actually be able to say this in World of Warcraft, but you need to do this. That's similar with the farm we saw earlier, the raw gold potential, but of course, you know, it got leaked and patched and that stuff's all gone. This farm does work, it's confirmed, it works now, still works, tons of people do it. Uh, there has been confirmed drops of chromatic swords, you can check on the auction house, see in the listings, stuff like that, they are actually confirmed and they have happened on servers. So, 
go do this now. If you get this sword to drop, you literally don't need to watch my videos anymore because you're good. Like, I'm serious. And also, before you leave, make sure you check out the links in the description, in the or sorry, in the description below to check out all my computer gear, software, all that fun stuff down there, and also where you can buy Battle for Azeroth for the cheapest anywhere right now. And honestly, if you do buy Battle for Azeroth and go get this to drop, you just paid for your WoW token for indefinitely, so pretty much. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, it's been King Kunta, and I'm gonna see you in the next video, which will hopefully be tonight, but. We'll see. If the spot doesn't come up tonight, then expect it tomorrow. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.